Today, we're talking about the most important clothing item that has separated mankind from caveman for hundreds of years. The undershirt. Hey guys, welcome back to Style Tips for the Everyday Guy from Cladwell, where you can get your personal roadmap to dress better. I'm Eric. I'm Chris. And today we're talking about undershirts. Yeah. Okay, maybe not the fanciest of, of topics, but some important questions to answer Definitely. nonetheless. Yeah. So let's jump right in. First of all, I want to know, how do we define an undershirt, specifically separating an undershirt from a t-shirt? Yeah, that's a good question. So usually they're thinner, lighter weight. They're meant to be layered mm -hmm. under other things. So okay. That's one of the ways you can tell. Also, you buy them in a bag. Most guys <laughs> don't buy their t-shirts in a bag. So that's true. That's another good way to tell if you're at the store and you're wondering if it's appropriate for that. They're usually a little less expensive than yeah. a t-shirt because they're thinner material, lighter weight. What about color? Yeah, they're white, almost always. You can buy gray undershirts, black undershirts even, but almost they're always they're white. Okay, yeah. and what are the main reasons I'm wearing an undershirt? Sure, I, I think the two best reasons to wear an undershirt are that uh, it actually will keep you a little warmer. Like I said, meant for layering, so mm -hmm. that's nice. You got that close layer, nice and tight to the body. Also, uh, it actually will prevent you from getting stains on your outer layer. So if you have nicer yes. things that you don't want to wash as much, right. like a dress shirt or a sweater, something like that, you can wear that close to the body. That'll absorb all your sweat. So in, in order to do a little bit less laundry and help your nicer items last a bit longer, yeah. if you're wearing an undershirt, Throw those in the laundry. That's not as big of a deal. Yeah, easy to replace, inexpensive. Like I said, you don't have to worry about those. And you can keep your nicer things nice. Okay, so maybe the most important question centering around an undershirt is, yeah. is it a fashion mistake to let my undershirt show, to have it seen? Yeah, we've had some good debates about this yeah. in the office. As a general rule, don't show your undershirt. Okay. That's a general rule. General but rule. I will say, for some guys, that's probably less of a fashion faux pas than for other guys. So okay. if you're a more formal guy or a trendier guy, you're probably gonna to wanna to pay more attention to whether your undershirt shows mm -hmm. when you're putting together your outfit. But if you're a casual guy, you know what, you got other things to worry about. Yes. You don't have to consider it as much. If you guys don't know who you are, go check out your style analytics at Cladwell. If you're in that lower left quadrant yes, that's the casual <laughs> on our graph, guy. that's the casual guy. And for you, it might not be as big of a deal to yeah. let your undershirt show. Yeah, and I think that's, that's kind of cool about I don't know, Cladwell itself is yeah. like, we know that different guys have different style personalities. So. Yeah, you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to different things in order okay. to complete your list. But do you, we did talk about there are some hard lines where you never want, even if yeah. you're a casual so guy. So for everybody, yeah, including casual guy, if you're wearing a dress shirt, that's the best example. Never let your undershirt show, whether you're wearing it with a tie or without. Okay. Yeah. So on Cladwell, while we don't recommend, make personal recommendations for undershirts, mm -hmm. you guys are on your own yeah. for that. We do make recommendations for t-shirts. Yeah. And so just to kind of clarify this a little bit further, when is it okay? We said it's not okay to let your undershirt show up, but it is mm -hmm. okay, obviously, if we're recommending t-shirts as part of your wardrobe yeah. to let your t-shirt show. Definitely. When is that okay? Yeah, so of course you can wear a t-shirt by itself with jeans, chinos, whatever. Uh, that's fine. You can wear it under a blazer. Yep. Uh, that's a great, great look. Uh, you can wear it under a sweatshirt or a sweater as part of a layered look. Yes. Um, you can even wear it like you've got on right now. Uh, you've got this light blue v-neck t-shirt and the shirt on top of it. And the reason this works so well, I think, is that you've got three buttons, it, yeah, three buttons undone. So you're showing the t-shirt. If you were it's buttoned up all the way to the top and your yeah. t-shirt was just kind of peeking out, that might look a little weird, but because you're really showing it off, So if I'm halfway unbuttoned or all the way unbuttoned, it's okay, because that's kind of a look. Exactly. As a, yeah. But if you're buttoning up, try not to let it show, essentially. Right. Okay. Um, if, we're, if you're going for the look to not let your undershirt show, what are the sure. options we have to actually get that done, to execute that? Yeah, so of course you could not wear one, but then you kind of lose the benefits that we already talked right. about. Uh, of course, the second option is to wear a V-neck undershirt. So mm -hmm. there are varying lengths of V, so you might have to try a couple on to find one that actually doesn't show. Yeah, yeah. or you could go with the double V. <laughs> the double V, yeah. you could do that. Yeah. Some of you guys might know that, we'll uh, link below. So one last question I have is the length of the undershirt. Sometimes because they're a little bit less expensive, they shrink up. Yeah. And if you're yeah. wearing it under a shirt, it can kind of, uh, there's a oh, line yeah, it you can see. Up, it bunches up. Yeah. yeah, what do yeah. I do about the length or is there something I can do to fix that problem? Yeah, well, thanks to my eighth grade teacher, Mrs. Han, I have a solution for you. I still do this. You'll be happy to know, Mrs. Han. Uh, <laughs> you can actually tuck your undershirt into your underwear. So use that elastic huh. band around your underwear, around your waist. 
keep it nice in place. It, it gives you a slim profile. That's creative. I've, I've done that once or twice. It feels a little weird at first, yeah. but you get over that really quickly because you do have that nice slim look and it stays in place. Yeah, it actually is there. a lot less fussing during the day. Cool. Yeah. All right, guys. Hopefully this was helpful for you. If it was, give it a thumbs up. Hopefully we've answered everything you've ever wanted to know about undershirts or need to know. If you guys have other style questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. We'll be sure to answer them for yeah. you and hopefully put them on a video like this one. Um, and if you haven't, go, che go check out Cladwell. Get your free personal roadmap to dress better. Thanks, guys, so much for listening. We'll see you next time.